Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Okay. Uh, uh, we, we are all welcome uh, to this important occasion. Uh, the lecture is supposed to start by eight. As you can see, more people are joining uh, our facilitator. Uh, the presenter is already live, is already with us. Uh, I think without waste most of time, we need to start this program so that we can we can beat it, we can do it uh, according to the schedule time. Uh, you are all welcome to this important occasion. My name is uh, Umar Abubakar Saleh. Uh, I will be the moderator for this uh, important lecture. Uh, the title of our lecture is uh, Covered Your Linear Figures to Quadratic Modeling Using Response Surface Methodology. Uh, we are joined with, uh, as I said, uh, our, in our facilitator, that is the presenter of the lecture, is uh, the person of uh, assistant professor Adil al -Gaithi. He is a, a lecturer with a faculty, a Department of Water and Environmental Engineering of the Faculty of Civil Engineering and Built Environment. Uh, Dr. Adil is an expert in this field. Dr. Adil uh, is going to do justice to this topic as we invite him, we know he is going to give us the best and show us the way to do what is expected of us to do in this area. He has auto and co auto about 131 articles in Scopus with head index 13 and has over 250 articles in Google Scholar with an head index of 20. He is a young ambassador of American Society of Microbiology, Malaysia, 2020-2021. Uh, without taking much of our time, I would like to introduce our guest speaker, our lecturer, to deliver his lecture for us. But then before then, I would like to encourage each and every one of us to kindly mute, mute your mic uh, while the presenter is presenting his lecture. Please make sure your mic is off. And if you have uh, uh, anything to say, maybe at the end of the lecture, there is going to be Q and A, where everybody will be given opportunity to ask one or two questions regarding this uh, the, the the lecture. This lecture is organized by uh, the UGS under the leadership of Mr. Najim. Uh, uh, UGS is a body that is responsible for the international student in UTHM. Sir, you are welcome for the program. Sir, you can deliver a lecture. Thank you. Okay, Hello, thank Prof. you, uh, Mr. Omar. Yes. So we can start now, right? Yes, bro. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and good evening, everyone. And uh, happy to be with you today to share uh, my little bit uh, experience about the, how to convert your uh, data from the linear figure to be RSM or quadratic uh, figure. I mean, more attractive figure, let's see. Okay, let me share with you. All, uh, before I have to start, I have to mention for all that there is no slide, only one or two slide. And then I will go direct to the software program that we usually use for this type of kind of the analysis. And uh, is the expert design. I think many of you already heard about, heard about that and uh, already work on the RSM. Uh, still, there is some of things inside. Uh, we, we are not going to discuss everything by today because just only for one hour. So I will just highlight for you some of little bit work, okay? Okay, let me share with you the slide for this. So the slide is okay, right? Mr. Omar, yeah, can we you see the slide okay? Yeah, yeah, it's okay, doctor, we are seeing you. You can go ahead. The the slide is okay. Can you see the slide? Yeah, very okay, we can see it, you can go ahead. Means Y1 will affect negatively on Y2, 
So when y1 be high, maybe y2 will be low or high, and they will affect negatively. In both case, here, the effect will not be on y1. It will not affect on y1 and y2 only. It will also affect on the responses. So please be sure here that you understand what we mean by response. This one independent and this one independent. Independent factors means I can't change, but dependent factor cannot be uh, changed. Okay. So that's for the to start to understand our our topic for today. Okay, let's come to cancel this one now. I'll start sharing here now. Okay, I will go to, the, I will go to my the program of today. Let me share the full screen here. Okay. And share it. Screen one, screen two. Share. Okay, screen one. Okay, now we finish this one. Come to see here. Design expert. Can you see my my uh, slide now? Is an expert? Not yet. You it's not yet uh, shared. Not yet shared. Okay. I already shared? Okay, one minute. I will share again. Okay. So please be with me, huh? And in, in confirm to me if, uh, if there is or no. Can you see now or no? It's not there yet. Okay, so this is the program that we are going to study by today. The name of the program, Design Expert. This variant is number 11. We have so many programs, they can do RSM. One of them is the design or you can go to Amos or you can go to SAS or what? Slide. There is no slide. Now I will share with you the, the program itself. You can see this, the Design Expert. No, we're, uh -huh, now we are seeing it. We lost the internet. Now you can hear, hear me or no again? Yeah, okay. Prof, we are hearing you, but we are not seeing the slides. Yeah, okay, I will share with you again. Because actually, I don't know what's the problem with the internet today. Okay.
Can you see the slide now? Go ahead. Okay. So this is the name of our program that we work on it today. We have so many programs actually they can do RSM. One of them is the design experts, as I mentioned to you before. One uh, else is a uh, Minitab, uh, Amos, uh, SAS, so many programs. The, for me, I prefer usually to use design expert, also sometimes many tab, but I prefer to use design experts because design, design expert, they can give us attractive figures. Okay. When you come to use this program, you have three options, design with their hair and new design or open design. Yes, we have to use new design. In the program here itself, we have we have so many of options like factorial, and we have also response surface, uh, response surface or mixture or whatever. What is the main idea here? This program should be used before you have to go to the lab, not after. Before you go to the lab, you must work on RSM. What this is the main difference between this program and SPSS program? SPSS will help you to analyze the data you already collected. This program will help you to collect the data itself. You, so it will help you to design your expert and then to collect the data, then come back again to this software. He will help you how to analyze. So this program will help you twice, one before the experiment and one after the experiment. Okay. When you are come to work on this program, you must have full idea about your program, uh, your project. I mean, how many factors you are working on? This is the mini criteria. This is the critical point for this design expert program. Without this point, you will not, you cannot work on this program. You must have factors, any factors, whatever these factors was temperature, was uh, uh, pH, was time, was concentration, whatever this software, these factors, you must have factors. And these factors, what we said is, this is independent factors, factors I can't change. I can't change the consideration, or I can't change the temperature, or I can't change the uh, pH or time or whatever. If you already have full idea, you are going to go to response surface. If you still at the initial or second range for the factors, you don't know, you, there is no more study on your area, you have to go to the factorial. Then factorial, it will help you to go to the RSM. But in many of our experiments, we can see that many of people already start study it. It's not necessary to be study on the same software. No, at least you already know, for example, the time between 10 minutes and 20 minutes and the consideration between five and 10 and something like that. It's not necessary to be work on the same program. So I prefer usually to go to RSM, but RSM will give you many experiments. If you go to factorial, yes, it will help you to make minimum, but also in RSM we can do minimum. So how many minimum factors you must have? Two, at least two. If, uh, if there is no two, you cannot work on the software program. So minimum two, even if you come to say here in the program itself, they will give you uh, just only two, minimum is two, can give you one. Okay, how many numerical factor you have? You have two, for example, in this, in this uh, uh, session I will share with you just only two okay we have maximum minimum is two maximum is what 50 factor how many experiments you have to do he will suggest to you okay so I have only two most factor let's say I have factor is time and I have factor is uh let's say for example uh, concentration concentration so the time you have to add negative one to one means low to high Law, let's say for example, minimum is 10. What about maximum? Let's say maximum, maximum is 30. What about the consideration? Let's say between five and, okay, between three and seven, because to avoid the confusing. According to the system here, according to the system, they will tell you, you must run 13 experiment. There is here full design and small design, but if you use two factors only, they will give you only full design. If you choose three, they will tell you, do you want full design or small design? What is the main difference between full and small design? Full design, if you still have no full idea about the factors. Small design, if you already make secret range and you come into the small. So in our case, that's yes, we will take maybe 
this, this only two factors. So they said you are going to run 13 experiment, none central point is eight, and five central point is will be five. Five means you are going to repeat one experiment five times. The others eight is will be between the others uh, distribution. What do they mean by block? This means if you are going to divide your uh, work to be in stick one and stick two, so you have to use block one or block two, it's up to you. So now I already choose my time and I already choose my concentration. So I know the low concentration and the high concentration for each factor. I'm going to go to the next. How many response? What do we mean by response? For example, I study now effect of time and concentration on one. If I said in concrete, for example, on compressive tent, if I said on the was uh, on the removal, uh, how many response? How many uh, parameters you are going to study? One, two, four, five, up to you. You can go to under one thousand, around nine, nine, nine. So let's say, for example, I have two. Let's say, for example, I have two. So one is, for example, uh, removal. Okay, removal, and one is the, uh, for example, compressive state. Okay. Whatever those factors you are going to study, yeah, final pH or uh, final uh, any any parameters you are going to study inside the uh, sweater or uh, whatever. So I have now two factors and I have two dependent factor. That means I have y1, y2, x1, and I have x2. What else? Finish. Our design now finish. My work. This will this win finish. They give me one to 13 run. And they suggest to me the value for each factor. They said factor one time, factor two is concentration. So come to see. They suggest to me to start with the first experiment, go to the lab. You have to print out this table, go to the laboratory, make your first experiment for 20 minutes and concentration is five. Okay. Uh, this is just an example. Maybe you are working on something else, but that's what I mean, how you have to read the, the, the table. Okay, you will go to the lab. You will see here, they will suggest to you one here and this experiment. After you run this experiment, put the value here for removal and put the value for CS. If you come to make, for example, here, according to the standard, you will see some of experiment one, two, three, four, five, as I mentioned to you, okay, is repetition. You are going to repeat five times. Someone will come to ask me now, okay, do I have to repeat five times? Yes, five times, but five times, what do we mean by five, five times? What is what the meaning of repetition? Repetition means you have to repeat the experiment, but at different time. Don't come to make five flasks and make at the same time. Five repetition, five experiment at different time, maybe the condition to study the condition. Why we have to repeat the experiment for five times? This is a idea for software program to help you to test the validity of the model, to confirm if the model is okay or not. Okay, what about the rest? Okay, one factor is will be here, this one, this one, so 10 is the minimum for us. 30 is the maximum, three is the minimum, seven is maximum. What about this value? This value, it was five, 5 5.8. We didn't choose 5.8 in our uh, design. Yes, the program will give you one value, less than your law concentration or law, uh, law time, because you choose the law time is 10, 10 minutes minimum. So they give you one less to test the validity of your model. One will be more. So minimum is 10, it will give you three. Maximum is three, 30, they give you 34. What about the factor B? Same things they will give you. So sometimes they will give you this value in, in, in negative. That means it's okay if negative means concentration is zero and if negative for time means time is zero. So now I go to the laboratory and then I make the experiment one by one. I repeat one by one. Someone will come to ask me also, do I have to make also control or no? For my experiment, I should do control. Yes, you should do control. What is the control here? This is the control. Two, one positive, one negative, one positive, one negative. 
So no need to make the another control. Okay. So if I come now to see, for example, I will just put some of numbers randomly. I got this concentration or removal. Okay. I already now make the lab work. And I come to after each experiment, I analyze and I calculate the removal. Okay. And now I come to my insert my data because I'm going to analyze my data. Is it okay or no? Okay. Just this one is just only random uh, data. So I will come to analyze first response for me. So I finish my lab work. Okay, and then I come back again to the, this software. I want to see uh, how I can, uh, how I have to analyze the data. So I will come to analyze. Okay, in the analyze, I have transform. What I have to do for transform, I think you have to do, just keep like that. If you want to go to the power and inverse or something, it will be given on you, but as a basic, basic, uh, uh, understand or fundamentals for you, just keep like none. Okay, what about here? The fit summary here will suggest to you, it will tell you, your data now is still linear. What we are looking for, we are looking for quadratic. Uh, what about two factorial? We didn't study the two factorial. What about the cubic? Yeah, this is the level of the uh, study. Linear means uh, like uh, first order and uh, two factorial first order and the quadratic is second order. There is a equation from the third order, three, four, five, six, up to you. So, but we only looking for the quadratic. So this I guess to me is linear. That means my data is linear, but it's okay. I will go to the model and I will not follow his suggestion. I will tell him that please analyze in terms of the, in terms of the quadratic. I can also analyze in terms of the cubic or four or five or six, but most of the study is first order and second order. Quadratic here, it will give me the first order and second order. If you go to the cube, it will give you first, second, third, so, so on. Okay, so I choose here the quadratic and I will go to ANOVA. The ANOVA here tell me that this is the response. It was for removal. And this is the model. What we mean by model? Model means the experiment, the, full, uh, the general experiment. What about the general response for my experiment throughout all the experiments? I have 10 run or 13 run. What is the general way for uh, my run? The model here is non-significant. What does it mean? Okay, here I have to highlight for you. What is the typical answer? The, sorry, the typical result. Typical results here should be significant, here should be non significant. So, what is the probabilities now for me? First one, if this one significant and this one non significant, okay, your work is very nice, very good. Means you choose the uh, factors right and you choose the range for each factor is right. Okay, second option, here is significant and here also significant. Okay, you choose the factor is right but you still have problem with the range, means you have to go back again to the model and go to the cubic model because the level is not in the uh, second order. This one in the order of three or equation from degree of uh, number three. Okay, third one, if this one is non-significant and this one significant, okay, that means you still have problem with the choose of the uh, factors but they will highlight for you. Now I will show you what is the mistake, how the program will help you to tell you what is the mistake for you. Okay, so now let's come to see. In general, my model is not significant, means those two factors cannot contribute in the removal of my pollution, for example, in terms of the temperature or the time and the concentration is not enough. That means there are some other factors. I don't know what's, what's those factors. I want to see, okay, come to see the fit statistics. They will tell you R square means the coefficient for two factors, for two of your factors contributed only by 27, or means there is 
another 70% of the removal depend on other factors. Means you choose your factor is wrong. It's not only two factors. It should be three or four factors. Because they tell you here, the adjacent is negative. Means it's zero. Means those factor have no role in the removal process. Okay? And the predicted also is zero. I will come to the details. Why? What's the problem? What's the, the problem? Is it with, with time or with uh, consideration? Because the program is will not analyze factor by factor. They will analyze factor by factor and the interaction between two factors. So here, the time, I will do to see the p value. You know the p value. Okay. Here, the p value. I don't know. Okay. Here, the p value. In statistics, we have two p value. But we can say statistically we have only B value. If B value less than 0 0.05 or B value more than 0 0.05, that's all. All the statistics here for RSM expert design statistics is well given on this information. The B value more than or less than 0 0.05. I will come to see here. B value more than or less than 0 0.05 is more than 0 0.05 because it's 0 0.7. Okay, means non-significant. Here, 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is more than 0 0.05. So, non-significant. Means time has no effect. Okay, what about consideration? Consideration is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 more than 0 0.05. So, means has no rule. Interaction between A and B. When the A and B increase together, is this synergistic, positively, negatively? There is no rule because the B value here is 0 .0, 0 0.8, means more than 0 0.05. Okay, I I make this one, this example for you in negative, because to see how is the negative results will be. The positive result is easy to understand. If this one significant, this one non-significant, you're done. Finish your analyze. But what's the problem? The problem when you come with the negative results, sometimes you're stuck. Okay, so I mean here, if you come to see here, okay, the interaction between A and B 0 0.08, 0 0.8, more than 0 0.05, no interaction. This is the first order linear, right? This one second, quadratic, secondary model. So maybe sometimes the time not effect direct, effect indirectly, or second effect is not in second, primary factors, it's secondary factor. So is it A2 or the time has secondary factor? By B value here is 0 0.7, means more than 0 0.05 has no rule. Okay. B2 square, B square, okay, also has no rule. Means my problem, it was with what? It was with the factors itself. I choose the factors wrong and the range is wrong. So please, before you come to start to work with RSM, be sure that you know all the details about your experiment. What is the factor? What is the main factor? Sometimes you can find 10 factors, but if you start with RSM with 10 factors, means you are going to done more than 200 experiments. It's very difficult for you to, to do. So RSM is to help you to minimize your experiment. It's not to increase your uh, experiment. So there are some of factors is uh, main factors. Some of the factors is secondary factors. Some of factors is easy for us to control later on. That's what I mean. Okay, come to see here. Coefficient of the code. Coefficient, in general, and in general, this experiment or two factors contribute in the removal. It's contributed, is positively. If you can see here, the, the sign here or the signal here is positive. Means it's contribute. The problem is what? They contribute, but non Contribute, but it's not that contribute effectively. So because it's just only contribute by 27% only. Still, we have more than. 23%, we don't know what is. This is why we, don't, we cannot consider uh, this Consider these uh, two factors. What about the time? The time also have positive effect because if the signal here is positive. Concentration, also positive. A, B, good, positive. Secondary effect for the time is negative. Means if you continue for a long time, the results will be for you negative. The, uh, the time at the beginning of your experiment is will be good. But with the time, if you do not time more than the range, more than 30 minutes, they will give you negative results. Same with the B2.
So now, when you come to analyze, you have to take this table, read this table, come to this table and read this table, come to this table and read this table, then come to see the equation. This is the equation. The equation is removal, which is y1 equal to, you have to simplify this equation. So plus 13 plus 0 0.84 time plus, for example, now I study the time at 10 and 13, right? If you come back to the table here, I study at 10 and 30 and 20. So 10, 20, 30. I want to study how much the time will be effect if the time 15 minutes. I never done the experiment at, uh, at the lab with time 15. So I can do it from simulation. This is what we mean by simulation. You can do simulation for your experiment. So you study at 10, 20, 30, and whatever the time between 10 and 30, you just have to insert here the time and insert also here the time with the concentration, whatever concentration, whatever time between in the, your range, time between 10 and 30, and uh, concentration between three and seven, they will give you how much the removal. That's what we mean by removal, by the removal. Now we have to make to see what is our mistake. Why we got not significant and not significant, we said because two factors contribute less than 27. But there is here one option, which is the diagnostic. Diagnostic they show you, they tell you here. Those data have no end distribution because to be in distribution supposed to be around this line, should be around this line. If the data is something like that, so there is something wrong in your experiment. Maybe calculation is wrong, maybe concentration is wrong, maybe time is wrong. There is something wrong in your laboratory. And to know in which experiment I got the mistake, I don't know. This one is just give me in general. So go to the report. If you go to the report, it will help you to tell you what is the problem. You see here, the actual value you got, it was 76. The predicted supposed to be 72. You see here, the actual value is 78 and should be 69. If you come one by one, you will see where is your mistake. For example, I can overcome uh, any value with error 5%, statistically with error 5% is accept. What about less uh, or more, more? This one is dangerous. Because if you come to see here, 76 and 57 means the mistake around 20 points. 20 points is so much, there is something wrong. So you have to come back again to the lab, okay? And see this one, if you repeat how much, they highlight for you with blue color here. What else is one, 178 here is uh, sorry, 87 and 86 is okay within 5%. This one, okay, okay, okay. If you come to see here, 45 and 63. 45 and 63 is so much around 18. So 18 point between the actual and predicted. So you have to go to the laboratory and analyze the uh, experiment run number 11, experiment run number uh, number five. So number five, it was 57, and number 10, it was 63. Let's come to here, my original. Okay, number, okay, number five, it was 57, if I go to the lab, and number, 10 or number 11, it was, let me come back again to check, I forgot. It was around 65, sorry. Okay, so I go to the lab and correct. Someone will come to see and to some students I saw like that, they will not come uh, go to the lab again and they will correct like what I did now to now. If this one is right or not. Okay, I will come to analyze again. I will repeat my analyze again because I changed the value. Fit 
it's still linear. Model, I will choose the quadratic. Quadratic. ANOVA. Okay, come to see here. The model is still like non significant. Here is still non significant, lack of fit. Okay. But the coefficient increased from 27% to be 44%. That's okay, good. There is one value here for consideration, it becomes significant because it's become less than 0 0.05. <clears throat> if I go to the diagnostic here, I still have same problem because the data is not normal distribution, have no normal distribution. So should be on the line. If I go to the report, they will tell me still number 13, have big problem is 34 and should be 72. Number 13, okay, 72. Okay, come to see here. Come to analyze again. What do you think? Okay. If you come to see here, I correct this one after I made the experiment. Okay, they said, okay, very good. It's become now quadratic. The model, okay. So look here. It's become significant. The model now is become significant, right? And like uh, a fit is become non significant. This is the typical, typical result, should be like that. Okay, how much the B value? Significant because less than 0 0.05. What about the time? Sorry, about the time, still no. Uh, time still, uh, B value is more than 0 0.05, means the time has no mean effect on the process. How about the consideration, yes. Interaction, no interaction between two. Okay. Uh, secondary effect, no. Secondary effect for factor number two, yes, great. If I come to see here, coefficient is become okay. I have the coefficient. What about the co coefficient here is going from 44 to 85. Is that one I done, I done now. Is it right or not? Can I change just only the value like that? Actually, you cannot do something like that because if you come to the actual, to the diagnostic again, you will see the value is become okay here, but this here the distribution is become also okay but if you come to see here the value itself, that the time is still wrong. It's not significant. Means, okay, it's a quadratic, quadratic, but the time has no effect. It's linear, have no effect. So, but if you do go to the lab and you done or you repeat the experiment, you will get something else. So don't follow what the program suggests to you. Program just tell you that this one is wrong. So don't means, uh, that means you copy his uh, answer and use it. You have to go again to the lab and run the experiment because that will give you different result. So now I found that my process is okay. After I run, at least I have something okay. So I go to the you know, sick they tell me is okay. The value is okay. You have to give evidence or that's the data is uh, distributed normally. And you have to copy also this the predicted value and actual value they have to help you or to help the, the whatever banal reviewer, examiners, your supervisor, your friend, to understand uh, what we mean by normal distribution and non-normal distribution. And that's your the actual unpredicted data have only less than 5% of the error. So come now to see the figure. Uh, the figure, they will give you different types of the figure. It's up to you. This is the contour. Uh, we can read from here. This is the maximum, five. We can read actually from here. They said, 43, okay, is a blue, minimum is 43, minimum, okay, maximum is 89, okay, so the maximum is here, and the minimum is here. Uh, I can, for example, use uh, this one, recent and uh, actual, to see, uh, this one I already just you, uh, tell you before. What we use usually, we, we use RSM, RSM give us something is good, but when you come to see something like that here, the circle here means that there is something inside. There is some of design above predicted value. Above the predicted value is okay. Uh, if I come now to make, uh, to read this value, I will read this value like that. A, this is A, the time. Time from 10 to 30. Consideration from three to seven. So come to, to read this one. How, how I have to read. 
when the time going down, okay, the consider and and the consider the consideration going up, the time going up, and consideration also going up, you will get high value here, high removal. If you come to see now this one with the time. We said the time has no has no role, has no contribution in the removal. So you can see just only linear, none. But we said the consideration has positive. So look, it went up. So if you come to see now, this one linear and this one what is up. And the value, the maximum value is what? The maximum value is here. So I will read something like that. When the time going up from one to 30, concentration from 30 to seven, there is a synergistic effect between the B and A. Yes, A, I don't, this figure will not show you if the effect is positively or negatively, but it will tell you the synergistic effect because it's very clear. Because the negative one, it will be different. Maybe we can uh, come with some of figure I will show you which one is the positive, which one is the negative. So this is just only one example, okay? So this is the time and this is the concentration. We can see the typical figure is something like that. I can go to see the interaction. Yes, there is interaction between A and B, this interaction one. Sometimes there is more than one interaction. I can see also one factor is something like that. All the factors is something like that. We use all of this figure to use in some of our papers. Sometimes in our paper we have figure or two. So it's not enough to to publish or to go to good journals. So we have to increase our number of uh, figures. So now we have here. Have you finished? No, I didn't finish it. I already now know the rule of each factor, the interaction between our factor, the figure out, I, I figure out my, my result, but I still have one more. It's the optimization, optimization. I have to go to the optimization. To optimization, you must analyze two factors. You cannot go to just for one factor. There is no optimization for one factor. You must go to the second factor. So if I come back again and I just add any numbers for second one, okay, and I said something like that, okay, here. <laughs> Okay, now I go to analyze second factor before I go to the optimization. They also suggest to me what? If you come to see here, they suggest to me that is mean. What, the, what do they mean by mean? Mean means nothing. There is no effect. There is no linear, even, even linear uh, factor. There is no li linear effect. But okay, well, no problem. I will go again to ask to analyze according to my body retake and analyze my ANOVA. They tell me some things here, not significant like before, not significant like, I just use a random uh, numbers. The uh, coefficient is 0 0.2. I think you already know, that means 80% is not even on my factors. And the diagnostic is not okay. And report, they tell me so many mistakes inside. The differences is maybe somehow here 64, here 53. Here 76 is 53 is 89 and here 53. So, so many things is wrong inside. It's okay, just continue. Let me see how the figure will be if I use this one. Come to see here. It's become something is not clear. The minimum is 22, the maximum is 89, but most of the data here is what? Between concentration and time, if I come back again to see, not significant. Not significant, not significant, not significant, and not significant. So nothing is significant. You can see the surface is not like curve. It's not like curve, what I mean. It's something like flat, but it's not exactly flat. It's something, there is something. There is, uh, if you come to read here, there is some contribution by 20%. Okay, so it's not totally flat. And there is some contribution here, is positively and negatively. But in general, the model is very low, and we cannot use such nothing. If you come to see the time, 
is linear. If you come to see the concentration, little bit curved, such is uh, slightly, slightly curved. So in general, are so many uh, data held out of the predicted, okay, as I show you. But if you analyze both factor A and factor B, then you can come to make the optimization. The optimization will be numerical. What I mean here by numerical, okay. Time that we want to optimize my experiment. I want the time to be within my range or I want the time to be at maximum or I want to optimize my experiment to minimum time. It's up to you actually, not uh, uh, because I will show you what we will have. Let's see, for example, I will say I want the time to be in the range. Okay, means between 10 and uh, 30. What about the consideration? You want the consideration to be in the range. It's okay for me. Okay, what about the removal? I want the removal to be high, right? Okay, I want the removal to be high. This is normal. And I want the compressive strength to be also what? High. Okay, so if I go to high, high in the range, in the range this may come to see the solution. The program, program gave me two solutions. Two solutions. They said, if you take time 25 minutes and you take concentration here is around six, okay, you are going to find removal 84 and you are going to get compressive strength in 57. And this time the coefficient for your experiment is 69. So let's come to see. Is this 69 acceptable or no? How much is supposed to be coefficient? It's supposed to be 99. Supposed to be hundred percent. Supposed to be ninety-five or ninety. Is is up to your experiment. I cannot experiment with coefficient eighty if the temperature is constant, the incubation your work inside the incubation time is perfect. The all the other factors is perfect. So in this case, the coefficient is supposed to be more than ninety-five. You done your experiment. You conducted your experiment at the ambient temperature at the environment, lay day and night, uh, light and dark, temperature high and low. In this case, it's okay if you can get more than 80% or even 75%, just depend on your experiment and how you are going to justify your result. So the analysis in this program is not number. It's not number. It's not necessary to get a square 100% or 99%. This uh, something is wrong if you get 99. Nothing is 99. Is given of uh, on you. Sometimes even 50% is very good. For example, if I'm going to produce one product and this product will give me purity by 50%, it's good. Uh, it's, it's up to your experiment. It's not necessary to be 100%, 100%. 100%. So let's come to see here. They give me two solutions. They, they said that time 25, concentration 6.4, give you removal. 84 and concentration or compressive strength is 57 with coefficient is 64. I will come back again to change my criteria. I want time to be minimum or minimum. Okay, I will see what will happen. Okay, they will tell you that you can get with coefficient 66% and the time is will be 12 and concentration is six. The removal will be 83 and the CS will be 47. Okay, let's come to change my criteria. And I said also the consideration, I want the consideration to be minimum. So consider consideration. They said the time is 12, the consideration is four, removal is will be 74, and CS will be 47, and the coefficient is 16. Okay, I want to change my criteria, time to be maximum, and concentration will be minimum. Okay, I want to go to seven solution, coefficient is 60. Five, okay, come to change. And I say also the consideration also should be maximum. Okay, I will come here to find lot 81. So coefficient in this time, go to 81. Before it was around 60 something. Now we go to 81. So you have to play with the criteria. It's not wrong for you to play with the criteria. Choose your criteria, but you have to justify when you come to write your thesis or your paper, okay? Maximum. And then now they said if you take 30 minutes and seven, that means the removal it will be 80 and CS will be 58. Is it 80 enough or not? It's up to your standard you are, you are follow. 
And is it uh, 58 is uh, or not? I cannot tell you. It's up to your specific area. Uh, is it meet the standard or no? Or maybe you need second round of the treatment. It's up to you. So here the coefficient is become 81. What must I do? This is the removal 80%, 58. The data or the program is expected to you. What must you do? You have to go again to the lab, go back to the lab, laboratory, and then one experiment with this time and with this consideration and see the actual value for removal and actual value for concentration to see. Is it okay or no? If you find the result within 5% error, okay, that means it's okay. If more than uh, error, error the, the error more than 5%, you have two options. Number one, you have to justify. Sometimes you can justify until 10% error. This is up to you. Up to your experiment. Is it possible to get error with 10%? Maybe in engineering, they will say no. Maybe in environment, we say, okay, removal is okay. We can get a 10% error. I will make second round of the treatment. Then I will achieve this one. In medical, is it possible to get 10% so much? So it should be less than 5% is up uh, of your area. Okay. By this way, it means you already now finish. Finish your analyze. What data you are going to use in your thesis on your, uh, or, or in your paper? You are going to use the ANOVA, the ANOVA, this table, R square, coefficient, diagnostic. You are going to use this figure and this report, just only first, uh, second and third column. You are going to use this figure and you are going to use the numerical, sorry, the optimization here. Uh, the solution, you can use the solution here like a uh, table, only the first line only to compare with the, your actual data. This is the predicted and you have to add with the actual data. What else? Okay. You can use also this one, but there's nothing here. It's okay. So that's all for the RSM. I know some of you, they will ask now. I already done my experiment. So no more can come back again to the laboratory. And I study my work by traditional way. I study one factor by one factor. And my uh, figure from linear to RSM, this is will be depend on your uh, work itself, how many factors, how you design your experiment. Do you have all the, uh, the raw data? or no, maybe I can do another workshop for you. Uh, we have to, I have to prepare uh, something to be ready, some of examples for the linear and to change. Now, I uh, present for you how to convert your figure from the beginning before you do your experiment, because if you follow the traditional way, you will get linear. Okay, is it right or wrong to use that traditional way to study factor by factor? Is it right? It's not wrong. We didn't say that is wrong, but it's dependent on your experiment. Optimization, RSM. You are going to study the model, linear model, mathematical model. RSM will not help you. You have to study the factors one by one. Okay. Uh, I hope that you take more idea here. Maybe let me present for you some of figures. Those figures will help to know how many RSM we can. Okay. Let me see here. I don't know how many figures I have here. RSM, okay. So can you see this uh, word file or no? Yes, coordinator. Yeah, Prof. Can you see this slide or no? Yeah, we are seeing the slide. We are seeing your slide. Uh, the board boy, uh, sorry, uh, word file. No, we didn't see what file we saw is your last graph that is there. Ah, okay. Design okay. Point. Uh -huh. okay, I will come back again to show you. How many times were, now is okay, right? It's not just okay, but it's coming. It will, it's trying to share. Okay. When we become ready, inform me. We have seen uh, one, two, three, four, five. We didn't see the word file. 
what do you see now? Uh, six figures, right? Of yeah, RSM. Six figures. Six figures. Okay. That's what I mean. How many figures the RSM will give you? So many things. So many ships. Chip of the RSM will give you. Like this one, or like this one, or like this one. Somehow, uh, there is like this one, or like this one. For example, here, if I found here, this is the X1, and this is the X2. So you can see that X1 have no role. X2 has high role uh, or uh, contribution. So this, uh, I mean, different shape of the RSM, how you are going to study, okay? They will give you so many shapes here. Okay, I think already one hour and already uh, finished my presentation for today. Uh, I have to highlight again, we cannot explain everything in, in one hour. Usually this workshop takes minimum two days or uh, two days. When I first time I attend workshop for RSM to know how I analyze, I attend for two days from eight to five. And you can see how long that we have to do and analyze all of my data. It's not that very easy for us. Huh? Okay, thank you so much. And uh, please uh, for coordinator, if you, uh, for moderator, if you thank have you. any, someone wants to ask. Enough. Thank you, thank you, Prof, for the excellent presentation. Uh, we have been listening. We have listening to the uh, the lecture from beginning to the end. Uh, as you said, uh, one hour is not enough to digest and give us all that it takes for this uh, 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 work. But I think we may try to see if we can arrange for more classes so that people can benefit and understand more because. I can see many people are asking, how can they get this software? Can you help them with the software? This and this, but then we will go back to the uh, audience to participant to hear if there is one or two questions. You can ask the question direct by omitting your mic, or you can write a question through the chat box so that we can read it for the presenter to, to answer. Uh, the participant over to you, you can ask your question. Okay, I will open for them if, if someone wants to ask. And for the software, I will send to you. Maybe Mr. Mohammed Sahari can help you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Salam, salam. Yeah, my name is Bilal. You're welcome. Uh, doctor, please, can we have a recorded? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, one minute, one minute. I will share with you with the. I will share with you uh, the Facebook because we we have live. Okay. Okay, I will share with you the link. Then you can anytime watch. Okay, thank you, Prof. Okay. So the software you can find from Mr. Muhammad Sahari. He has the software and he can uh, help to uh, download thing. Okay. Yes, Salam yes, alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam, go ahead. Uh, my question is that uh, when you talk about the linear dynamics and you convert into 3D dynamics uh, in this software, the parameters uh, that maximum can be visualized is 60, as you said. But uh, how can you really present that? Uh, I mean, pre present those 60 parameters in one 3D graph. It's, I think it's very hard to really do that. Normally, we can do up to four dimensions. Uh, but uh, can you please uh, discuss about that? Okay, your uh, question about uh, how we can present six factor in one figure. We cannot the program cannot uh, figure out. Yes. It's yes. You know, well, uh, okay. Actually, because I take in my uh, example here, I take A factor B. Okay, let's yeah. come to you again. I will share with you again here one example. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So let's come, for example, here to this design. I will copy this one. Okay. And I come out with new. Okay. okay. Let's come out to show you how you can do it. Sorry. To design to use Okay. If I say, for example, now I have three factors. Yes. And I have full design. That's okay. So next. 
And I have also same things, same response, finish. So now I make, okay, this one. Let's just come to, just wanted to show you some things. Okay, this is the removal. Modeling, I choose the quadratic, ANOVA, analyze here. If you come to see here, this one between what? A and B. Can you see A and B me? Uh, can you see my program now, right? You can just, oh yes, yes. Okay, A and B. So this figure will show you the interaction between A and B. What yes, about yes. C? A and C, okay, change from here, you will get also between A and C. What about B and C? So that's, you have to go here and take one by one. So if you have factors five, A, B, C, D, E, F, so you can make figure for A, B, figure for A, C, figure for A, D, again, figure for B, figure one, like that. So you can calculate how many figures you are going to produce. Okay, now three factors, they give me one, two, three. If you have four figures or four factors, you are going to receive more and more. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, sir. And second thing is that uh, when we talk about uh, the uh, the experiments, because each of us has a different set of experiments, or we are working on different aspects. So, mm -hmm. how do you actually minimize? I mean, you you say that my error factor is five percent, and then we can accept it. But maybe in reality, it's far from uh, what I'm getting is not the true picture. So how do I really confirm I'm getting the true picture of my uh, experiment? As you said, you must go to the lab and do the run. Yes, this program actually is not, uh, uh, I mean, you have to use it without lab. This program help you to minimize the number of experiment. The program designed to make calculation according with the 5% of error, okay? But <laughs> when the uh, program give you, for example, B value is less than 0 0.05, that means the co confidence level is 95%, that means the error is 5%. Okay, let's, for example, say uh, the B value here is become 0 0.1, that means the confidence is 90% and the error in this case is become 10%. Is it 10% accept or no? It's up to you, up to your justification, up to your area. Some yes, some no. For example, I told you, if we are working on environmental uh, treatment or removal treatment from wastewater and the efficiency was 90%. And when I come to see the final concentration still more than the standard, I have to come with the second round of the treatment, I will achieve the, the standard. But if you are working with the medicine or with the engineering or something, maybe they will not accept 10% error. It's up yes, to the yes, your yes, area right. itself, how you can explain. Okay, sir. Thank you for your answer. There's one question here. We study one parameter under several condition. Okay. Lifetime temperature humidity at the same experiment. Yes, not one by one. Or I can study the effect of it. no, no. You have to study all the experiment, all the factors at the same time, not one by one. If you study one by one, you are going to receive to get or receive like a, a linear figure only, only linear. For such work. What about us not in Malaysia? Any anyone from any country can get the software and uh, just I think they share with you here the WhatsApp group. Go in the WhatsApp group, you and you will receive the software program. No worry. Prof, can it help us in illustrating the mechanism of the reactions? So, sorry. Can it help us uh, in this type of uh, figures in uh, in understanding the the mechanism of the reaction from the dynamics of the figures? Can we connect it to the mechanism of the reaction? The, yeah, okay, the, the program here, the software here will help you to give uh, you the interaction between factors, which factor is the best, the uh, optimization, but cannot explain to you the mechanism. Oh. Mechanism else. Okay, sir. 
Any more question? Any more question from the participant? Uh, the presenter is willing to respond to all our questions. They said one question here, Farah Anwar. Can we make two controls? Uh, you, uh, okay, actually, sometimes in our experiment, the real experiment should be have two types of control, one positive and one negative. This is the normal work in the laboratory. So program, they, they will not tell you this is the minimum is the positive and uh, the negative and the maximum is negative. No, it will change for you. Control, what, what do you mean by control? Control means something is out of our range, out of our range, no effect for one factor or less effect. When we see the time, when we study the effect of the time, what is the control? The control is zero, means no time. This is the control to know if the time has effect or not. When we see the concentration has effect, what is the control? The control is supposed, supposed to be experimented without concentration. So the program makes something like that. But sometimes they give you low concentration, or he said, for example, let's see, you study the time between um, one hour and three hours. And you make the control one minute. Do you think that's one minute will effect? No. One minute is like zero. Maybe during you prepare your experiment or you move your flask, one minute finish. That's what we mean by control. Control is no effect for any factor. So we can make two control. What's the problem? Okay, when will feedback link will be? What do you mean by feedback? Uh, you want the feedback? Okay, I will share with you. Maybe one minute. Google form. Okay. Just one minute, I will give you the link for uh, feedback to evaluate this workshop, uh, is it okay or not? Yeah, more questions, more questions for the doc. Uh, feedback form is already on the, on the chat. You can, you, you can fill the feedback form. Okay, uh, could you please explain about the validation? Validation means when we insert all the experiment done, as we already done, for example, 13 experiment, the program will help you to get the optimization. They will suggest to you, uh, according to your previous data, if you do this experiment at this experiment, it is like that. Validation means you have to go again to the lab and make the experiment add the value that he suggests to you and see. If you are going to receive the same result, let's say similar result with 5% error only or no. That's a validation. You have to do validation. I guess try to read from the chat box. Okay. How I can get the, uh, the software is okay. You can uh, just join the WhatsApp group. You will find uh, the software. Yeah, there is certificate this time is Dr. Abdul Hafid. There is certificate, but this time it's certificate from UGS, UTHM. It's not from ASM. And uh, okay. Can we have the record presentation? I already shared with you the uh, Facebook. It's here. Can secondary data be analyzed using the software? Secondary data is up to you up to the data. This software depends on the type of the data. Since you have factor, you have response, you can analyze by this data, by this software. Where you will send the software to WhatsApp group, okay. Where you will send the certificate. Certificate and software, you can find it by uh, WhatsApp group. I'm just under similar condition, okay, I already answer. Share WhatsApp group, ASM, you can see okay. This one, okay, later on we can share. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for uh, Mr. Omar, for moderator. Thank you for our audience. Uh, th th thank you, Prof. Uh, I think uh, Prof has done justice to this topic. Uh, if there
there is no more question, uh, we can come, we can close the program. But before then, all participants can fill the feedback form. The feedback form is already going.